Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We are going to be tuning and moving the looks from the main stage of season 16 of. Oh my gosh. We said it last week. We hoped it didn't happen. We manifested it. It is a ball, a ball. All 14 queens together to present three looks, which means a total of 28 looks in one episode. No, wait. I just did the math wrong. It's 20, 20, 21, 21 looks. 14 times three. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was thinking seven. 14 times three, carry the one. 42 looks. 42, there we go. So this is the mother of all balls where the queens have to present three looks, the third look being design challenge. We're only tooting and booting the 14 looks in the look they made in the workroom. Mother of all balls. Mm. Balls. I love a mother with balls. I, you know what? I've always loved that about your mother. <laughs> I love her balls. <laughs> As former contestants of RuPaul's Drag Race, the balls are definitely the most challenging. They pulled out all the stops right out the gate. They're like, y'all are gonna have to show us some shit. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be the challenge of all challenges. And yeah. doing balls is not an easy thing, especially if you're not familiar with sewing, especially if you don't have a creative bone in your body and have to have everybody make for you and can't come up with an idea on your own. This is going to be challenging. Yeah. And I actually can't wait. This makes good good television for me. I'm always shocked when I hear a bitch come on and say they do not know how to sew. You know you're coming here and there's going to you're be gonna a sewing challenge. You're going to have to make something, challenge. yeah. At least take basics. At least know how to thread a bobbin, thread a needle, feed some fabric through a machine, and maybe cut out a pattern. I mean basics. Catch an all new episode Friday on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Go to dragrace.wowpresentsplus.com. Or click the link below to see if RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 is available on WOW Presents Plus in your territory. And let us know who your top two of the week is in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. The category is Call Me Mother Father Eleganza. And they had to design a look out of menswear. You know, flannel, khaki, cardigans, dad wear. Dad wear? I mean, if you think about flannel, khakis, and polos, like that's all dad wear. That sounds like lesbians. Mmm. I love a lesbian and dad wear. I'm wearing sweats. Gray sweats. Come on, dad wear. Gray sweatpants. Dad pants. wear, gray sweatpants. Uh -huh. Balls. I'm wearing and a pair of tidy whities I like to keep my balls Honey, tight. They're neither tidy nor whitey. They're loose and brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first up. Category is Call Me Mother Father Eleganza. First bitch we bring to the stage, Geneva Carr. Looks like she took a suit. She took it and repurposed it, redesigned it. She's not going to any mandatory meetings in that suit. Mm. I don't like that the slit on the front of that skirt is cut so high. It's not even a slit. I wish it were moved to the side. And then the buckles just randomly placed without a point of view. I do like the buttons. I like what she did here. I mm -hmm. think that that looks great. This whole thing down here, it needed to be like shifted. I love a deconstructed suit. I deconstruct suits all the time. I am a person who goes to thrift shops purposely finding suiting and I redo it. And I love that she's actually used those concepts for, you know, the sleeves are there and you see the lapel there and then you see the bottom of the jacket there as a skirt. All of that makes sense. But once you put it together and and to see her as a whole, the way I yeah. see your whole, just the whole you thing. You don't want to look at it. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in this. I, I actually find it really dull and boring. It's a bathing suit with an old cut-up suit. I don't like how there's a piece of fabric here, and then there's fabric, mm -hmm. here, fabric here. This should have been opened up. This would have looked great if all of this wasn't here. But then when I get down here, that's just so yeah. Jarring, and then the buckles just randomly. I'm gonna put one here, I'm gonna put two here, I'm gonna put one on my back. I think the colors are fine, and I do think that she did a pretty good job. She looks beautiful. Yes, absolutely. But... Gorgeous from like the neck up, but none of this really means anything. We're just two icons being iconic, talking yeah. about iconic. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this an iconic boot. That's... You give it an iconic left boot, I'll give it an iconic right boot. Precise. Set of boots. Next we bring to the stage Dawn. I love the deconstruction of this. This kind of gives me like Maison Margiela, where something feels a little bit torn and ripped, pieced mm -hmm. together, and it makes it feel like a little like a wearable art moment. I enjoy the boots. I like the suspendery kind of thing. I'm not sure if it needed the, the funny ears. The ears, I guess that's her thing. Dawn is an elf, so she's gonna give you the elf. Her makeup is beautiful. I like where she was going. Mm -hmm. As I look at it, I'm like, mm, it could have lost a thing or two. The main thing is the thing around the top of her head. And then it looks like she's got aluminum foil wrapped around the ponytail. No, that needed to go. I like yeah. the boot with the suspender hanging off of it. I think that's really cool. But then it just gets yeah, really like very much. muddled right in here. And I love the cape. Done. Some girls need to just kind of stop somewhere, you know, like at one point be like, okay, I got the elf ears. Maybe I don't need scallops as earrings. The neck up needs so much editing. The whole bottom section to me looks like a Vivian Westwood fashion show or Maison Margiela. My favorite is the boots with straps on them. Yeah, I think it's inventive. It's not trying to be like perfectly perfect tailored. And sexy, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I like that. I would which, totally wear that. It's a little too haphazard for me. Hey, you guys, edit. Stop putting so much shit on. You heard it here. I'm gonna give it a boot. I give her a toot. Next we bring to the stage Hershey Liqueur Jeté. Lord, what did I just say about editing? She Take did. a name she off, She needs honey. to edit that name. She draws a Nissan Altima. She demands your attention and she looks good. You know what, I give it up to her for the storyline. But bitch, how about we turn the volume off so we don't hear the story? <laughs> We're just supposed to be looking at the fashion. I know, I know, I know. We're supposed to be looking know. at what they're wearing, what is presented on the runway. But I like what she's giving. This is giving like this island vibe. You know, the baby blue, the puffy sleeves, also another favorite of mine. I think she looks good. There's nothing that says that she's constructed this badly. It's styled nicely, but it's a little pedestrian to me. That's the storyline. She works at the church. What? And drives a Nissan Altima. And drives a Nissan Altima. It's a little fancier than a Nissan Altima. I think the, the sweatpants idea or, or the gather around the ankles is really clever too. I think that's kind of I cute. don't think she did anything to those pants. I think she just took a pair of pants, put a piece of fabric that coordinated with the blouse along the pocket. Maybe she tailored it a little bit, but it just looks like a regular pair of pants right off the rack that she threw on. Well, that's what I'm saying. It feels a little pedestrian It to feels me. very pedestrian. It's I love the shoes. I do love the shoes. And shoe. she did not I'm make never, those. I'm never a fan of this when it comes too far down. When there's two separate fabrics and mm -hmm. you've got more of a puff sleeve, I think this should be cut a little higher so it doesn't accentuate the shoulders. I'm gonna give Hershey Le Courgette a two. I give it a boot. Next to the stage, we bring Mirage. This reminds me of very early Raven. Mm -hmm. I used to buy cut it in half, be like, oh look, I've got a blouse and a, skirt. and a skirt. I throw a bunch of belts on it, bitch, I'm ready to go way out west. Mm -hmm. However, I would have wore a boot with this. I would have taken one of those sweaters, cut the sleeves off, and made some sort of a leg warmer or mm -hmm. some sort of a spat, something to go over the shoe. The shoe is distracting. Yeah. All of this up here, I can see what you did, bitch, and I give you kudos for that. But that <clears throat> shoe, mm-mm. No, no, no. The makeup is distracting to me. Like, what is that like runny, like bottom part, like on her face? She got beat up. I mean, she oh, was doing she was this. In a fight. She was wearing a nice sweater that got shredded, and then she threw it back on, and she went to the main stage. You see this face? Mm -hmm. This is how I feel about it. You know what would have been sexy is if she didn't do that weird makeup and just Julia Fox that whole thing, because I'm a huge Julia Fox fan. And she be like slicing and dicing clothes and look sexy in it. Yeah, but the shoe and the makeup, it's like, mmm. I would have worn my own hair with this look. Just wet the whole thing. That makeup would have made a little bit more sense if there was something that kind of added this punk flavor to it. I like the strappiness of it. I like the tatteredness, mm -hmm. the torn, the threadbare, and all of that stuff. But the way it's done, I'm not a fan of. And I'm going to say it's a boot. I'm gonna say this is a boot as well. Next, we bring to the stage Megami. Oh. Oh, she's giving you Rosie the Riveter. But am I riveted right now? I don't know. I don't understand the need for everyone doing strappies. 
But I like the way she took the tool belt and created this cute little, it almost looks like the pockets on the dress. I don't care for the bottom part of the skirt. Exactly, it ruins it. I think she could have made that a full on, just like really sexy pencil skirt, you know, up like just, just beyond the knee. Some bitches don't know where, when to stop. They think that you need to add the flowers around the hem and then that, that trumpet at the bottom. And I then like when it. she turns around, it actually looks really pretty with the bandana around her hair and then the bandana on the back of the blouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From the, the knees down. Mm. But it looks like it's constructed well. And she's got the pink triangle yeah, and the so rainbow right, and all that. She has a story to tell. And ultimately, as artists and performers, our job is to tell a story. It's a political statement. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, um, and it has history to it. Yeah, I get it. I'm gonna toot it. I'm gonna give it a two. Next, we bring to the stage a mandatory meeting. What the f is going on? That's a lot. <laughs> Where do you want to start? I don't know. I don't want to start. You don't want to start. I love a little cape blazer. Then with the ruffly skirt, and then the bandeau, and then the hair. And the presentation of it. Like, okay, you're trying to sass up an ugly outfit because you think that's going to make it look better, but yeah. it's not. Which, I, uh, hey. That's our entire careers. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that Linda Evangelista Mugler hair wannabe thing. Doesn't excite me. It's poorly constructed. I appreciate the energy. The energy her. is appreciated. She the looks charisma. Like, I know that if I hung out with this bitch, we would have so much fun. She looks like a blast. It looks like maybe a suit taken apart to create the skirt and the, the cape. Mm -hmm. Then with the tropical probably Hawaiian shirts. That's a great business and pleasure mix, but the way it was done, it literally looks like she threw it in a blender. It came out and she's like, <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a boot. Yeah, this one's a boot for me. Next, we bring to the stage Morphine Love Dion. She is stunning. Look at that mug. I love ruffles around a bust line, mm -hmm. but then there should be a ruffle down at the bottom somewhere. There's enough denim in the world that you can add a ruffle to that. Yeah. You know what I, what I am gagging on is her makeup and hair. Well, yeah. Like, look at that face. She loves to smack that BBL. Baby. But she does not know how to make an outfit. I am a huge, huge fan of upcycled denim. Mm -hmm. I have many pieces in my closet. It's such a missed opportunity. You know what's also really fun with denim is fraying denim. Mm -hmm. You can get texture from that. Where's that part? You can also bleach denim fabric. This is ill-fitting, it's strange. I don't like the hat. No, the hat to me is actually fine. It's not on her head. Mm. It's just kind of sitting there. I wish it were a little bit bigger. Bigger. And I wish it fit on her head and kind of was floppy. It doesn't look finished. That's literally one pant leg and you can tell. Oh my baby, what have you and done And the other yourself? pant leg is wrapped here. The whole thing is like missing so much and could have been taken to next level. Instead, she's giving us denim scarecrow hat. And then it's like ruffle and then tattered and shred. No, it's, it's all over the place. The best way to fix this would be to streamline the point of view. Is mm -hmm. it ruffly and flirty? Is mm -hmm. it tattered and love is a battlefield? This is a boot. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Maya Iman Lapage. Okay, so she's giving us punk. I can get down with this, actually. The plaids as punk. I think it looks great on and her. And I like the way it's styled. I like the way it's styled. I like the way that she's put it all together and then added the really rock and roll boots to it. She can tell what the reference is and has put it all together very beautifully. It all fits her really nicely. The hair is cool. The safety pin in the nose, spectacular. Love that, very nice touch. The clashing patterns, which is something I, I usually enjoy and I love it in, the, in this outfit, so. I'm gonna give her two. Two. Next we bring to the stage Q. All right, bitch. Yes, ma'am. Let me just enjoy this view. I love the little thing on the mm. head. The collar. The stand-up collar built Everything. into the thing. So proud of her, I don't even know Q. Even the, the accents on the boot, it's styled beautifully. Yeah. It's all in the 
like mixed patterns, black and white and gray scale. I love the hair, I love the makeup. This is a person who really understands how to put together drag. Style you know what I mean? How to, how to style, style it, how to put it together. And how yeah. to show your own style. Yeah. Not try to be something. This is really, really remarkable. And the hair is really, really gorgeous. Yeah, I love too. the little dollop of denim on top of her head or whatever it is. Something's up there. Yeah. All I gotta say is I've got my eye on Q. She better keep this up for me. I'll give it a two. I'm gonna give this look a shoot. Mm. I'm into it. Next, we bring to the stage Nymphia Wind. Oh, bitch. <laughs> 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 Mother, the styling of this is impeccable. This is what I'm waiting for to see from queens. I don't want to see regurgitated imagery or ideas that I've seen from other queens before. Nymphia wind, my God, I am a nympho for Nymphia. Oh my God, I love the yellow boot too. The yellow boot is the most special touch. It's really sculptural, it's wearable art, it is Fantastic. That oversized shirt, the way it's cut, then all of the ties coming out of the top of the hat, coming out of the front of the skirt, yeah. coming off of the neck, and then that skirt. The strange vinyl plastic skirt that ah. in brown. But then if you really dissect it, she's wearing a brown skirt with a beige shirt and a brown hat. <laughs> and then she put on this bright yellow boot, which in, in itself would oh, be I love fierce. It. But then all of these blue ties with just a Textural. hint of orange, the hat yeah. has a collar on it. I live, I live. She is giving fashion. Shoot. Shoot, it's a shoot. I'm gonna double shoot today. I'm, I'm shooting oh. all over the place. <laughs> I'm shooting it in your eye, I'm shooting it up your <laughs> It's It's going everywhere today. Next, we bring to the stage Safira Cristal. I love a billowing skirt. I like the fact that she has the plaid underneath as a something skin tight. It's done really cute. Mm -hmm. It's very kind of whimsical almost, where it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I took menswear and, I, and I'm and i giving you a pair of overalls, but it's a big billowy skirt. It's cute. But the necktie, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, the suspenders or the overalls. I would totally wear that skirt and overalls ensemble for my $35 shake at Air One. Mm. It's a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Plain Jane. The body is sickening. The silhouette is sickening. I love the hair. Uh, um, yeah, we're not judging on hair. <laughs> Take the head off. What is she wearing? It's a skeleton of a suit. It really is the bear minimum. It really is, which I think is kind of fun. It kind of like gives me like Jean-Paul Gaultier. I like that she used a necktie as a thong and a necktie to wrap the, the thing around, but and then the chains just kind of like, oh, I'm going to put some... Uh, no. Mm -mm. You know how she could have changed this in 30 minutes? By burning it. She should have walked <laughs> down the runway with the outfit burning in her hand. Yeah. You know what's distracting for me? The cups and the, this idea of lingerie that's really poorly done. I, I don't mind just the lapel and the shoulders. I, I get that. Just a piece of But skirt. then there's just this piece of fabric that was left. To, okay, I'm gonna you, use this to hold it. All of this that's going on, why is there a straight line across the bottom of the skirt? It, that should have also been- Asymmetric, a skew. It's a boot. Boot. Next we bring to the stage Tsunami Muse. I like the knee length socks. I would have taken another pair of those socks, cut the foot off, and stacked them so that that went right at her crotch. I would have put a fucking sock garter on. I would have actually put an actual shirt underneath that bodice that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. I think these girls think that deconstructing and just leaving the collar and the cuff and the lapel. And the like, suspenders. Hey, you can strap. still wear those things and have those menswear elements still there and, and it could actually elevate the whole thing rather than piecing it all off and removing, removing, removing. Mm -hmm. Like if she would have just had a full on shirt underneath that was like opened up, maybe a bra underneath it or a cleavage or something, but with a full shirt. <laughs> yeah, this one's a two. This is a two. Next we bring to the stage plasma. No, ma'am. What are you doing? Who is this girl? <laughs> Didn't she let on the last she, episode of such a cool outfit? She had top two last week. She really did. Uh, but she also didn't have to make it herself. Oh, is that what the f that is? Mm -hmm. She already looks embarrassed. She's walking so fast, like she doesn't even want to be on stage. It looks like a stack of tires. It could really be cool if it was styled differently, right? 
If it were fitted, mm. it's very baggy and it looks pinned. Like she was running out of time and was like, and just kind of started pinning. You know, if you're gonna just go on stage with something pinned, add more pins. Like if you spill a stain onto a white dress, you might as well just stain the whole thing mm -hmm. to make the whole look. This just is ill-fitting, and I'm okay with ill-fitting things if styled differently. She was trying to glamour this up, and there's just no way around it. No. If she had a boot, like a thigh-high boot, some more jewelry around her neck, something chunkier, something that was... It, have I said enough? I've yeah. said enough. Uh, but yeah. you haven't said if it is a toot or a boot. It's a boot. Boot. You know what? Kudos. Proud of you girls for your first ball challenge. Yes, God. But some of y'all, no, Mary, just stay away from sewing machines altogether and hot glue guns. Trend alert! Straps. Strappy strap, strap mm. it on. Strap it on, baby. Strap, strap it off. Strap, 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 strap. Our top two of the week is Nymphia Win. Yes, Nymphia. You go, bitch. You go. Just, the just wind, get out of here. The just wind go. on with the Nymphia Win. Catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fridays on MTV. And you can watch anywhere outside of the US, Australia, and Canada on WOW Presents Plus. Bye!